Maximize Your Influence is your podcast for the latest persuasion, sales, and negotiation techniques. Our mission is to help you influence on command, anyone, anytime, anywhere. Your host is the author of Persuasion IQ, Laws of Charisma, and the best-selling book, Maximum Influence. Now, your host, Kurt Mortensen. Hey, here's a quick snippet from my podcast, Maximize Your Influence. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe at MaximizeYourInfluence.com. So it's good to be here. Been doing a lot of interviews lately. Hope you've been enjoying those. Let's just talk today a little bit about the brick wall of resistance. Now, I'm not talking about the illusion of resistance. I talked about that podcast 133, where you're looking for resistance. You're finding resistance when resistance is not really there. In fact, the archives are available at InfluenceUniversity.com. That part is free. It's also home of the 52-week Mastery PhD program in Persuasion and Influence. But then the archives, too, again, InfluenceUniversity.com. So this particular show, I want to focus on the brick wall of resistance that maybe you are creating. Is that possible? Probable? Let's talk about it. Has this ever happened to you? You're in a retail store and you're approached by a sharply dressed persuader. You're interested in buying, but the salesperson's a little aggressive. You get an alarming feeling in the pit of your stomach, and then you do what many of your customers do to you. You lie. You say, I'm just looking. I'll come back later. It's too expensive. I have to talk to my spouse. What's really happening is I don't like this guy. I don't trust them. Something doesn't feel quite right. In the end, you never go back to the store, just like I'm never going back to that hamburger place. But the challenge is, is that nobody knows. You'll never recommend it. Neither the store owner nor the persuader ever knows why. And this is a brick in what I call that brick wall of resistance. And it's a silent persuasion killer because most people will never say anything to you to alert you to the fact that they are feeling this way. Human nature is, and it varies by culture a little bit, they're more comfortable lying to you. They don't want to hurt your feelings. They'll walk away and simply never deal with you again. The reason this obstacle is such a killer is because we don't even realize we're doing it. We are offending people and don't even know it. You may think you're being friendly or enthusiastic, but be careful. They might think deceptive or annoying, and you don't know. So what do we have to do to overcome this tendency? Your persuasion attempts must be non-threatening and very natural. Forget the loud and flashy. That strategy only encourages resistance. And also forget about that high pressure. Well, granted, it does work 3% of the time, but it has a 50% remorse rate. Because you know when people, and you felt this way too, have been pressured, bullied, or coerced into buying or doing anything... They have remorse, and they'll never do business with you again, right? They will call you out for tricking or manipulating or selling or forcing them. They might even take it to extreme and not tell you, but they might badmouth you to all their friends and family, even the people they don't know. So with that, you might lose more than just one person. So just take this away. The moment people sense you're attempting to persuade them, even though they need it, want it, like it, can afford it, the brick wall increases in strength and size, and they will resist you. To counter this tendency, persuasion, negotiation, sales, influence must take place below the conscious radar. So your goal as a great persuader is to cultivate with this that, oh, that sixth sense when it comes to the push and pull aspect of persuasion. You must encourage without pushing, entice, but don't ensnare. You have to sense and then predict based on knowledge and experience and nonverbal cues what you do and how your audience responds. And with this sensitivity, which you can learn, there won't be any smacking head first into that brick wall of resistance. Thanks for listening. To listen to the rest of the podcast or subscribe, it's MaximizeYourInfluence.com.